What's up YouTube? It's Tuesday, February 8th, and the new set of Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Storm of Ragnarok, which should be tied to Storm of Six Samurai, is officially uh, legal for tournament play. Uh, we are days away from uh, the last event of this format, YCS Dallas, uh, and of course the topic of, on everyone's mind is, will the, Six Samurai, the new Six Samurai deck be as big and powerful as everyone thinks it will be? Um, I will be at YCS Dallas. I don't know when I'm going to play yet. It's um, in between three decks, one being Six Samurai itself. Uh, if you, I'll be staying at the Days Inn, uh, Six Flags. If you guys are in the area and want to play test, uh, play for cards or whatever, just hit me up and I'll be free to uh, uh, test with you guys. Uh, but first things first, uh, I want to give a big shout out to my new. Uh, store new team sponsor uh cool stuff games make sure you check them out coolstuffinc.com uh for all magic Yu-Gi-Oh, naruto singles everything you might need and these guys have it it's an awesome store uh also if you stay in florida just come by uh on thursday nights we have locals sunday all right uh we have locals and i think we're starting on saturdays also so yeah uh there's a video I did uh, on a sneak preview tournament we did around the store so it's pretty awesome uh, but yeah I'm also myself I'm buying and selling singles I'm opening up my own eBay store so if you guys want to sell a collection to me uh, just PM me or you know send me a list or something and I'll give you an offer for it but yeah on to the business at hand YCS Dallas and Six Samurai uh, I made a list of cards that like I promised that uh, I think are gonna be like should be considered uh, it's 10 cards it's not really uh, listed from you know most important down to the least important it's just 10 cards I felt will help you out in the six samurai matchup whether you're trying to play against it or if you're playing it yourself cards that you should look out for uh, first card on the list is solemn warning solemn warning is the best card of the format pretty much uh, Counter trap, pay 2,000 life points to stop your opponent's summon right there at the source. Against the Samurai, they get no counters from Gateway United. The monster is not on the field, and you know it's just pretty much broken. You know it stops Gores and the damage step. Uh, you can tap into against the GK matchup. You tie a spy, and they flip the special summon. You can warning that so they don't get the special summon the monster. It's just downright broken. Uh, Warning. At first, I thought when it first came out, I thought it was overrated. But after seeing it in action, after testing, solid warning is the nuts. Uh, so look out for that. Make sure you have two, if not three, cards for YCS Dallas if you plan to versus Sunrise. Uh, number two, I have Thunder King Ryu. Ryu is one of those cards that's always going to be good, whether you put it in the sideboard or you put it in deck around there, like a counter fairy deck or something like that, uh, or stun deck. Thunder King shuts shit down. It's uh, Rex Black Wings. It Rex Sabers. Uh, you know, shut off the uh, Black Whirlwind plays. Uh, Thunder King attacking the Dark Soul. Uh, pretty much GG. As uh, I, I did a video of Hector Harris playing the match versus uh, Christian. I believe his name is Christian. Uh, you guys can check it out. And his Thunder King attacked two Dark Souls and pretty much lost Hector the game because he couldn't search and. Thunder King is a beast, you know, he stops synchros, he stops your opponent's dualities, it's a freaking amazing. Uh, card number three, hot tech card, Fossil Dyna. Dyna is amazing for Six Samurai right? because, you know, if they go turn one and they flood the board, you're pretty much fucked anyway, you know, it, not much you can do, they have four 2,000 plus beaters on the board and you really don't have much of an out to it if they have Sheen on board also, but if you set Dyna and they attack it, it flips and it wipes their whole board right there unless they have that Magatama thing the counter trap that came out in the next set but I don't see too many people playing that card actually I think it's pretty bad in my opinion uh it's like a one-off definitely not two or three uh but yeah Fossil Dyna is a hot tech card uh look out for that one uh card number four World Oppression Oppression is Oppression you know it's it's limited to one for a reason uh it pretty much wrecks the entire format uh Six Samurai, most definitely. Uh, sabers, of course. Uh, any next person with plants, you know, stuff like that. It's not too 
it doesn't work too well versus the uh, GK matchup, but I don't expect much Gravekeepers uh, with this this event because Six Samurai pretty much wrecks the GK matchup. You know, uh, Royal Tribute doesn't do anything to it. The deck only runs like 13, 14 monsters anyway. So yeah, um, Royal Pressure, if it's not in your main board, you better side it. Card number five, uh, Mystical Space Typhoon. You know, everyone plays two anyway, but still, I want people to don't just blindly MST stuff for this event. You guys should really hold it and wait for the gateway. Unite it if you're playing a six samurai. If anything else, then you know you want to bait out something first before you just randomly MST a car. You know, blind MST it works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but I would rather you hold it and wait for something that you know that you might want to choose it on. Uh, card number six, Dust Tornado. Uh, if it's not in the main, definitely put it in the sideboard. Same thing as MST. You want to hit the United. Uh, you want to hit the Gateway. You can hit the uh, Necro Valley. You know stuff like that. You can hit. You can even hit a pressure if you need to uh, go off. Card number seven. It's my favorite card of the format. Personally, Spirit Reaper. Reaper puts in so much work. It's not even funny. Like versus the six time matchup, it sits on the board unless they have the hand or the synchro and go like Brianna or something like that. But there's countless times I sat on Reaper for three, four, five turns just because you know I don't want to make a push or I'm just stalling trying to draw into an out. Spirit Reaper is a definitely is my favorite card of the format by far. Card number eight, Puppet Plant. Uh, side deck that versus the six Samurais. Uh, mainly used like in Monarchs, uh, in the Formula Monarch sideboard. <clears throat> you discard Puppet Plant to take the Sheen. Uh, now they're, they're left with like. The Grandmaster and the uh, keys are on the board, and if they don't have another uh, six on right, then uh, keys on drops to 18. So you just you know attack, then tribute for like a monarch and remove the Grandmaster, and there goes the whole feel off a two card combo, and they have to start all over. So Puppet Plant definitely is going to be a hot side deck choice. Card number nine, Kinetic Soldier, like Puppet Plant, well, it's not like Puppet Plant at all, but you sideboard it. Uh, you can set kinetic and let them run into it and take like 2k or you can try to summon it uh, Hope they don't have warning and just run over Sheen and he still sits on the board unless they have the hand or uh, You know the secret force something like that, but of course you should have your own back row to protect them um, And card number 10 for versus six samurai is maxi I'm not too fond of maxi only for the fact because like you can draw 10 cards all you want but if out of those 10 cards you don't have an answer to a fill for the sunrise then you would have lost anyway but chances are uh, you know if, if, if they go first and you have the max lead then it's amazing because like uh, you can draw up to maybe got I'll, I'll say a, a good three cards you know they, they summon the first one uh, the Kageki the, or Kagabusha, whichever one it is. I call it the like the uh, the Pogre Knight. Then they go to summon the Tuner, that special. You can draw a card off that, or they can summon the keys on you, draw a card off that. Then they secret for Shein, you draw a card, switch for Grandmaster, switch for summon, you draw another card. So there's like three cards right there that push you at eight to their eight starting off to theirs, and you draw for your turn, you have nine cards in hand. So Maxi is worth considering sideboarding. I'll probably still sideboard it or uh if you're playing Fraud Monarchs, then you might want to main deck too, because you run Triple Battle Fader and Gores. Uh, maybe even Trigodia. I don't know if people split, split, still play Trigodia or not, but whatever. But yeah, those are 10 cards, the hot 10 cards that I made a list for versus Six Samurai that I'm looking to for Dallas. Uh, Solemn Warning, Thunder King, Fossil Dyna, Royal Oppression, Mystical Space Typhoon, Dust Tornado, Spirit Reaper, Puppet Plant, Kinetic Soldier, and Maxi. Uh, I have a uh, 11 card favorite mention, Mind Crush. You know, it's pretty hot card also. Uh, you got uh, summon, summon, search, and you Mind Crush the Grandmaster, the keys on, and then like their place pretty much fucked right there. They can't continue the uh, the loop you and flood the board with six sunrise. <laughs> but um, that's pretty much it for the the 10 cards. Uh, if you have any more, I mean, there's some other ones like Cousin Match. Cousin Mesh don't really do anything because the whole deck is Earth, other than Sheen, of course. He's he, he he's the dark, but I don't know if you want to take that risk and sideboard goes in match versus it. Um, I really want to do that. 
but that's just me um if you guys if you guys have any other cards feel free to list them down below uh make sure you comment below and uh tell me what you think about these 10 cards going to this format uh but yeah six summarize they are here now they are legal and if you're not ready for them then you're going to get wrecked pretty much uh the deck is super fast and, and they open up gateway united and that's like it's hard to come back from that because they they're gonna have an insane board but yeah this is going to be YCS dallas uh i guess if you can't beat them join them <laughs> I, I don't know what i'm going to play yet though but yeah you too i'm about to do uh I'm gonna upload also my video for the ban list. I think you guys are gonna really enjoy that. Just to spark some discussion. Again, if you have any comments, just post them below and I'll be sure to check them out. But yeah, promo signing off. Peace.